Here we have the control handle assembly. Attached is the support strap. Make sure that the loop goes right through the longer side of the control handle assembly. Here we have the brake leg assembly with the chain that will connect around the brake pedal when we go to assemble it in the car. Here we have a knob and we are going to connect it to the shorter end of the control handle assembly. I'm going to push it through until it pops into place and we can adjust this later. We are going to take the throttle clamp assembly. As you can see the knob on the side, we're going to connect this into the longer end push it through until it snaps into place. Again, this can be adjusted during the installation of the car. Now we have the support strap with the buckle. This will wrap around your steering column and then connect of the brake assembly and snap into place. Here we are going to take the throttle leg assembly and attach it to the gas pedal. Be sure to have it sitting at an angle and tighten the knobs so that way it sits securely in place. Next we are going to take the brake clamp assembly and we are going to take the chain, wrap it over and under the brake pedal and take the other end of the chain and place it through the screw. This will help hold it in place. Next we are going to take the top portion of the brake assembly, place it through the screw and tighten the knobs. Make sure to tighten them good because it needs to stay nice and secure against the brake pedal. And now we have assembled the brake pedal clamp. Next we are going to take the support strap, wrap it around your steering column. We are going to take the clasp and the buckle and we are going to snap it into place. Lastly we are going to take the spinner knob, connect it to our steering wheel. Now we have it attached to our car to access and control our brakes and gas and we are ready to drive.